Hello my dear students welcome to your environmental studies class today we will start a new chapter chapter number 24 home and abroad in this chapter we will learn about Abu Dhabi okay before knowing about Abu Dhabi let's know about the country first that is united arab emirates or we call it as uae so if you look to the world map you can see the different continents here and uae is situated in the asian continent you can see asia here in the asian continent towards the western side of asia is the uae okay now let's collect some information about uae uae full form is united arab emirates it is located in the western asia okay now let's collect some information about uae what is the capital of uae it is abu dhabi largest city of uae is dubai and the language spoken in uae is arabic language okay so the uae's capital is abu dhabi largest city is dubai and language spoken is arabic now i'll tell you the next point that is UAE have seven emirates emirates meaning is that an area which is ruled by a king amir they call them as amir okay a area which is ruled by amir so there are seven emirates there in UAE different each emirates have different amir that emirate will be ruled by another amir Okay so there are seven emirates in UAE okay just like we have states in our country like the same way an area of that place will be ruled by an amir okay and that there are seven emirates like that each emirates have a amir okay so there will be seven emirates so there are seven amir ruling seven different emirates here so likewise we have seven emirates the names are abu dhabi dubai fujaira ras al khaima sharja ajman and am al kuwain okay i'll repeat once more the seven emirates of uae are abu dhabi dubai fujaira ras al khaima sharja ajman and am al kuwain let's locate those places here you can see ras al khaima here am al kuwain ajman sharja dubai fujaira abu dhabi okay we are going to learn about abu dhabi today okay abu dhabi is the capital of uae united arab emirates and how many emirates are there seven emirates are there in uae and one among that is abu dhabi so next one when we talk about abu dhabi we have to talk about the population in abu dhabi among all the emirates abu dhabi is the second most populated city in uae it is the second most populated city in uae when you have to talk about the location of uh, you uh, sorry abu dhabi it is an desert island in persian gulf can you see persian gulf here persian gulf is means that a part of a ocean that has been extended to the land okay you can see a part of the ocean it is extended to the land is called as a gulf and this gulf is called as persian gulf and abu dhabi is the desert island in persian gulf okay gulf means the part of an ocean that is extended to the land okay they are extended to the land and abu dhabi is a desert island in persian gulf okay our next one 
Abu Dhabi is the richest city. Do you know what's the reason? Because there are so many oil fields in Abu Dhabi. Let me ask you my dear children, if, the, if you dig the sand in Kerala, what will you get deep under the earth? You will get water, right? But in Abu Dhabi, if you dig the sand, you will get petroleum. What will you get? Petroleum. So there are so many oil fields in Abu Dhabi. You can see an oil field picture here. Okay. So there are so many oil fields in Abu Dhabi. There petroleum is cheaper than water. Because water is less available in Abu Dhabi. There is no rain. There are no natural sources in Abu Dhabi. So water scarcity is there a lot. Petroleum is available in all the places. Okay, so if they dig the sand, they will get petroleum. That is why they are one of the richest city. Okay, because they can sell petroleum and earn money. And there are so many oil fields in Abu Dhabi. So let's repeat once again. It's the second most populated city in UAE. It is located in the Persian Gulf. In the, it's a desert island. Okay. It is one of the richest city. They have many oil fields. In Abu Dhabi, petroleum is cheaper than water. There is, there is water scarcity in Abu Dhabi. Okay. There are no natural sources in Abu Dhabi like rivers, ponds, lake. We cannot find any of these in Abu Dhabi. Now talking about the weather of Abu Dhabi. Weather, weather of Abu Dhabi is they have, they, it has very hot and dry climate there. It has a very scorching, uh, they are very very hot climate, scorching sun it is there. Okay. So it is very hot there. They cannot go outside wearing a loose cotton cloth. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it in the picture. They wear a loose cotton cloth which cover from the head to the toe. Okay, they cover the whole body because of the hotness of the sun. They cannot go out without wearing these kind of costumes. Okay, they have they wear loose cotton dress for going out. That is their common dress what they wear. Talking about the plants and the trees, the common plant that you see there is cactus. Okay, and the tree what you can see is the date palm tree. And the date is the common fruit which you can see in Abu Dhabi. Okay, the next one talking about the desert lands. You can see the first picture. It's a desert that's what the same as what we have in Rajasthan, right? They have very loose sand, thick sheets of sand, right? They have loose sand and the place here, there will be always, it will be breezy there. So what happened? The, sands, the sand will flow along with that and form sand dunes. Sand dunes. Dunes means a mountain, a sand mountain which is formed by the wind. Okay, which is formed by the wind. Dunes, a mountain. Okay, sand dunes means the hills which is formed by the sand. So you can see small, small sand dunes here and there. And its place is not permanent. Okay, as the wind blows what happens? They will carry a large amount of sand with them and they will settle it somewhere else. And they form a sand dune there. So the sand dune placement is not permanent. It will change as the wind blows. You can see another structure. They are also sand dunes. But they are known by another name, uh, name as fossil dunes. Okay. This is also formed by sand, wind and with time. It will take time to form a structures like this. Okay. And it is maintained in Abu Dhabi desert. The government is maintaining these kind of fossil dunes. But, but it will get disturbed, if it, if it get disturbed, it will crack, it is very fragile, it will collapse soon. 
okay it is not so strong because it is made out of sand it is naturally been made with sand wind and with the time okay it will take time to form these kind of fossil dunes so one kind is sand dune the other kind is fossil dunes and this is been maintained and this what happened it is very fragile and it will get easily get collapsed it will crack a soon okay so these are some of the informations about abu dhabi we told about the weather it is very hot and dry so they will wear a loose cotton cloth fully covered from head to toe and talking about the trees and plants cactus plants are there a lot as well as there are date palm and dates are the common fruit they can find it there then we talked about the sand dunes hill of sand that you see in deserts are called as sand dunes they are not permanent as the wind blows they will carry a large amount of sand and they will deposit somewhere else and thus the sand dunes are formed likewise they have fossil dunes they are also formed naturally with sand sand wind and time and they have a special design and there is one more specialty no two sand dunes will look alike all this all the fossil fuels will look differently okay it is very fragile it will collapse very soon then talking about the buildings of abu dhabi they have multi storied buildings constructed and they are covered with glasses because i told earlier the weather of abu dhabi is very hot and dry so they have covered the whole building and inside it is air conditioned so people who wants to you know that weather condition if it is very hot people find it difficult to be inside the inside the house so they have made it air condition and they have glass windows and it is most of the most of the buildings are multi storied buildings in abu dhabi now different currencies of different uh, countries okay that is what we are going to learn in the next page okay so first we will talk about uae's currency okay what we will call it has different name okay currencies have different name so in uae the currency is dirham UAE the currency is dirham you can see the picture it's a specimen copy okay it's dirham then saudi arabia you have saudi real in france we call it as euro in japan we call it as yen in england pound usa dollar in china we call it as yuan and in india rupee okay that we already know so each country currency has different names and currency is also notes also different okay so we'll repeat once again uae we have dirham saudi arabia we have saudi real france you have euro japan you have yen england pound usa dollar china yuan and in india rupee these are the different kinds of currency and in abu dhabi we have dirham that is in uae okay now let's compare our state kerala with abu dhabi there are lots and lots of differences between our state and abu dhabi let's look on to the first one itself abu dhabi is a deserted area here you cannot see any trees you cannot see any plants a few palm tree and cactus can be seen in abu dhabi but in kerala it has been filled with lots of trees and plants that is why we call our kerala as our god's own country because it is such a beautiful sight to see next one there is water shortage in abu dhabi as i said earlier if you dig the sand you will get petroleum there in abu dhabi but in kerala there is lots of lots of water sources for us there are rivers here lakes here ponds here backwaters here right there are different and different varieties of natural sources available in kerala 
but in abu dhabi there is shortage of natural sources in abu dhabi they, there is very scarcity of water in abu dhabi then in abu dhabi you could see palm trees but in kerala you can see different varieties of trees like coconut jackfruit papaya different and different varieties of trees you can see but you can see only one that is palm tree in abu dhabi that is because there is scarcity of water if there is no water life cannot exist so plant also cannot grow there then talking about the weather of abu dhabi it's very dry there but we have a very pleasant climate right we have a very pleasant climate we have rain here we have cool breeze here right but in abu dhabi it is difficult to sustain life there because it's a very dry climate and people find it very difficult to live in abu dhabi okay even then they have constructed multi storied buildings and they have air condition to drive the weather out okay now these are the differences between abu dhabi and kerala so let's look to the first slide first so first we learnt about uae and we said united arab emirates we collected certain informations like capital largest city language of uae then we said about the seven emirates of uae right these are the seven emirates of uae and one among that is abu dhabi the capital of uae and we learnt about the different areas of abu dhabi we learnt about the population the, about the oil field right where it is located what is easily available there <coughs> then then we learnt about the weather how is the weather of abu dhabi the plants and trees of abu dhabi about the sand dunes fossil fuels sorry fossil dunes then about the multi storied building the glass covering of the multi storied buildings air conditioned inside the houses okay then about different currencies currencies of different countries all these are the currencies of different countries and finally we learn the difference between abu dhabi and kerala okay now this chapter you have to read it very clearly chapter 24 home and abroad i hope my dear children these topics are clear for you read your textbook clearly answer the questions in the textbook with this i wind up my video thank you my dear children